Hello my beauts, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name's Mary and I'm a natural hair lifestyle and beauty content creator from London. If you're new around here or you've pre this channel before, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and press the notification bell so you don't miss when I drop my weekly videos. In today's video, my husband is actually going to help me to do my hair. It's the first time he's helping me do my hair in terms of doing it. It's the first time he's doing twists. In the past, he has helped me to grease my scalp. He's helped me to take my hair out. But now I'm trying to get him onto the other side of actually doing hair. I really want my husband in the future to be able to help me with my hair, our daughter's hair if we have one, and things like that. So, you know, might as well test the waters now. Usually I do mini twists and those last me for at least two weeks. But because I do have some engagements coming up, I didn't want to put that much time and effort into doing my hair because there's other styles I want to do within a few days so in this video we are doing big twists and hopefully i'll bring another video soon where he actually helps me with my mini twists but before we get into the video i do want to talk about a play that i went to see earlier in the week and the play is called an unfinished man and it is by dipo barua etty this play is being held at the yard theater which is in hackney wick and it's going to be running until march the 12th Tickets start from £13 per adult. Residents living locally get discounted seats, so do check out the Yard Theatre online for these kind of promotions. I went to see the play on Monday. I had a good time. I thought the play was very powerful and it was enlightening for me as well. The synopsis of the play reads like this. This hex has festered. Its roots have been stuck for almost three decades. But now I know. The Lord has made it known. Can't ignore it now it's known got a battle got a fight kaede has been unemployed for seven years his marriage is suffering and he needs to get help his mother knows exactly what to do juju exists spirits battle and the witches and wizards of lagos chant loudly in east london the play follows the life of this young man by the name of Kayode and he has been unemployed for the last seven years. He's a married man and he is trying to understand why he's in this situation. Why is it that no one wants to hire him and what is he going to do about it? We follow him as he embarks on the journey of trying to establish why he's in this situation and how he can get out of it. Obviously he's having input from his wife, he's also having input from his mum and at the same time we are seeing as he is fighting this demon that seems to be weighing him down one day it appears that he finds the answer to his unemployment through the form of a pastor he doesn't know actually that this pastor has kind of been orchestrated to meet him and so he's seen it as i guess a divine intervention as a result you know he follows whatever it is the pastor says he needs to do in order to get himself out of this black hole whilst also almost having conflict with his wife because his wife doesn't believe that there's anything wrong with him in a spiritual manner if you're nigerian like me i'm sure there's been one too many a time where you've come across a story like this where you're in a situation that would be deemed as negative and the answer to that is through prayer, fasting, deliverance or breaking a curse. Now I will say I personally would give the play a bit of a trigger warning if you suffered from depression or know anyone who suffered from depression in the past when he seems to be almost coming out of his depressive state his depression pulls him back this play was very much needed especially in this time it was just last week that i was reading that the rate of suicide amongst black men has increased and i feel like watching this play was a real eye-opener for me in terms of understanding what it's like to live with severe depression that even though you can have a good day that depression is still lingering it's still there and i feel like we do need to do more to understand to encourage to support and to be there for our brothers i know personally for me when i've read stories of people who've actually been depressed for a number of years suddenly taking their life i never understood it fully because i'm like but things are happening for you, you know. You're in a good part of your life. Why would you suddenly just end it? Not realising that the weight of depression and the deepness of this mental illness means that even though you could be thriving, be in a very happy place as to what the outsiders deem, this battle with depression can really weigh you down and can just be exhausting and overpowering. The play really made me understand more about depression and how people 
live with it on a day-to-day -day basis the way the actors portrayed their characters was really good it gave more of an insight into what people not even just black men but on an everyday basis what people could be going through even when or if they wear a smile on their face there's still things going on behind closed doors that we don't know of so yeah always be kind and always try to educate yourself more i think that's the only way that we can empathize with one another highly recommend you go and watch an unfinished man it's even more interesting and even more compelling and powerful when you actually watch the play i hope that those of you who do go and watch it enjoy it as much as i did i want to give a special thanks to the yard theater for allowing me to see the play now let's get into this video and i will see you guys at the end hey guys so i'm with my husband and we are about to do my hair and say we because i like receiving help Acts of service is definitely a love language of mine. He's smelling the cream and making a face. So I was saying to Bay the other day, oh, you know, can you help me with my twist? And he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, do you know how to twist? He said, no. So today he's going to learn. Do I need hand gloves? Hand gloves? No way. Ah, no, just like I don't want to do mini, mini twists how I usually do. I don't want to have to take i was taking them out we're just gonna do chunky twists and this is gonna be like his introduction to learning how to twist all right so babe you're gonna follow me mm -hmm. you're gonna do as i do right maybe i should how should i part my hair part it down the middle i'm not sure how many twists i want but i know i do want them to look relatively okay saying that because i am taking them out before i leave my house i really don't mind so babe, what are you doing? I'm straightening it. You're straightening it? And what exactly are you doing to straighten it? Um, so tell me. How you start? Let me show you with one in the front. You guys already know there's still aloe vera in my hair. So if stuff is f flying out, don't watch that because I have washed my hair. And my hair is a bit dry, so I'm going to get him to cream as well. Or add a bit of moisture as we go. I can only find my moisture hold. So we can only use that today. So at the front, just take a section like this. Have you got a section like that? Let me see. Yeah, but babe, you can see that there's like some kind of line here. Yours doesn't have a line. Oh, okay. Yeah, but you want to make sure that the line doesn't have hair in between. And I know it's because my hair knots easily. But you want the line to still be kind of... You don't want hair in between. So like this part needs to come out. Try and just make the line straight basically is what I'm saying. You look at mine and then look at yours. Just a little bit. Can you see? You got it? That will do. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add you don't like the smell of this. I think I need gloves for all this. <laughs> well, let me go get gloves. Gloves, babe, really? Okay, I'm putting my... Oh. Hmm? That means you're going to be using gloves to do my hair. You can wash it off, you know. Stop being dramatic. Take a little bit. Yep. Rub it in your hands. And then just put it on. And make sure you get the root the ends sorry okay cool so now you've got that part of hair what you're going to do is you're going to split it in two gently please yeah. yeah and literally you just wrap one around the other yeah hey 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 okay so babe hmm? you're pulling hair from can you see if you let go can you see you're pulling some hair from oh yeah so you always want to be careful you're not pulling hair otherwise i'm going to be feeling it i'm going to start screaming so you always want to keep to the section that you've parted and just make sure it's that hair in that section that you're twisting up so now i'm gonna tighten it or something no so you continue till you get to the end no. yeah what are you okay Good job, babe. I sure it's not gonna. I think it's gonna Wait. lose. So, 
You haven't got all the way down yet. Okay, so now you're there. Okay. What you do is you wrap it around like this. Wrap it around your finger and your thumb like that. Just, just use one. So you're gonna do is like this. Wrap it like that. Yeah. Okay. See, so it's not gonna loose. Yeah. You proud of yourself? It looks good. Yeah, mine is even better though. This guy is now going to be saying he's a professional. His is even better, right? Okay. You guys, let me know whose is better. Okay. So that's how you're going to continue throughout the hair. Just part in sections and twist, yeah? It doesn't matter the side I'm going to choose at all. Well, you do this side and I'll do this side. No, I'm like, I'm saying, um... Oh, you mean like where you part? Yeah. Like, no, I'm not really bothered. As long as the parting is, it doesn't need to be straight, but it needs to be clear. Like there shouldn't be hair. It shouldn't be jaggedy. So how do you want? You want like straight line like this? Oops. Something like that. Oh, uh, I don't know. You can start from the back like that. Maybe I need some hair clips. How's the parting there that I just made there? Does it look alright? Yeah. Cool. So you're gonna take cream. <laughs> it's easy to do, right? Mm -hmm. Do you think you can do plaits? I don't even know what that. <laughs> it's three. So he's gonna continue. I'm gonna start this side. It's definitely gonna look a bit different because I'm not going in particular like straight line. Oh, even you parting nice, like you're not hurting me. You're parting it nice. So if you come across like a knot or friction, to take it out you have to be gentle, yeah? Mm -hmm. Because it's very painful, usually on afro hair. So you just slow down a bit and you tease your way through. Oh my gosh you guys this is really relaxing <laughs> i haven't even done a twist since i told you guys i was gonna do a twist i haven't done anything it's very very relaxing my husband's got this anyone can learn to twist twisting is easy Join the party. No, you know my line won't be straight because I can't see what you've done. So it doesn't need to be straight like that. Should I make it big or? I think I should make it center. Let me make it two. So you guys, we have finished. As you can see, I think you can tell the difference between whose is whose. Phase one is a lot more looser than mine. And he's up bigger. But for the first time, I think he's done a good job. So now what I usually do, once I've twisted my hair, is I will trim the ends. 
So just where it's not all one level. So something like this. See with this one. I would just cut it here. So now you can see it's a blunt end and it's all one. But I'm going to allow my husband to do that. Thank you. What this one? That is it guys, that is my husband helping me to twist my hair. He halved the process for me, so I'm grateful for that. Definitely gonna teach him to make the twists a bit tighter. And this one's just fat. Yeah. This one is way too fat. It doesn't even make sense. But the rest seem good. I might redo this one. That's better. Overall, for the first time, I'm happy. This is how I, I like to keep my hair in a protective style. And I'll be showing you guys some more protective styles that I do so that you guys can do it too. With these twists, the good thing is, if you like, these aren't as small as I usually do them, but you can put them up, you can have them down. so that was my husband helping me to do my hair i hope you enjoyed the video let me know what you guys think did he do a good job i think he did a good job ah, there's always room for improvement right but for his first time he was patient didn't rip out my hair for me so i appreciate that and i know he's just gonna get better over time maybe i'll bring another video with him doing i don't know maybe plaits he doesn't know how to plait so i have to teach him how to plait but we'll see but for now i'm able to rock the style in a little cute updo with my little two twists out in the front and it's just what i needed to keep my hair at bay until sunday please let me know what would you give him as a rating out of let's say five five being good one being bad <laughs> before i go don't forget to check out an unfinished man at the yard theater it will be running until the 12th of march if you do go and see it please come back and leave a comment here so we can discuss it i'd love to hear your thoughts on the play and what lessons you learned if any so that is it from me and this video this week guys i do hope you enjoyed i do appreciate you watching this video i appreciate your time and as always please like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video Mwah. i love you guys bye